So Daphne's in there. And I've got a vulture there. All right, Bones? How's it? Hey, how's it going? So of course she's three lofted. And we just open the door of that one and chuck him out and do a bird show. My Chilean blue. Oh, he's in here. Do you want to come and say hello to Eddie? Hello, Eddie. Hello. He's a good boy. So there. There's the uh, Chilean blue. He's very friendly, aren't you? Proper sweetheart. So he's free lofted in this enclosure. Let's quick zip around it. There's a feed chute there. Don't really need that. He's quite gentle with grub. Yes. Hello. Yes. You killing your brunch? Are you killing your brunch? <laughs> right. Let's feed him. Be back in a minute. Let's have a look around. So the door shut. Oh gosh, the lawns are looking okay. I've only had a couple of cuts, but uh, they'll improve as the year goes on. Oh, I've got owls here. Look, there's a barn owl in that pen. Can you hear that noise, the hissing and the stamping? That's uh, my old barn owl there. Proper broody this time of year. And there is Bob, my little white-faced owl. Can you see it? Oh, I love it. A couple of kestrels here in these enclosures. There's my little hovering male. And I'm not flying him, of course, at the moment with the restrictions, and um, that's really good because he's just a nutcase at this time of year. It's really nice not to have to fly him in the spring. Yes. Female Kestrel in there, hiding in the back, and a buzzard in there, hiding away. My really old, my really old Harrisork, Milo, is in there. I don't know how old he is, I think he's about 27. He's free lofted. You can see here, these have got mesh fronts, these ones. And these birds have lived, Milo's been in there for 20 years. And uh, they keep themselves really well. Behind wire mesh, I'm lucky with those. Not all my birds can be kept behind wire mesh, but uh, these few can. And that's an enclosure. That, that's empty, that one, but that's just for new birds that I get. Birds who aren't used to being free lofted, they can go in there and they can't do themselves any damage at all. So that's just a spare pen. Oh, and there's my little imprint, Harris Hawk. He's the one we hunt pheasants with in the autumn. You're a good lad, aren't you? Yes, full imprint. Uh, love him. Oh, yes, Twinkle. <laughs> Twinkle the Lugger Falcon. <laughs> Enjoying uh, the bright and airy free loft enclosure. Now, I've just fitted those. Those are weld mesh windows, but behind that weld mesh, you can't hardly see it, is zoo mesh, which they can't damage themselves on. So that seems to be working okay. We've only had those fitted for a couple of days. Oh, there's Stitch, my Jersey. I think he's about 23, 23, 24. He's lovely. There's his enclosure. My peregrine, Tearsel Scarlet. He's a star. Yes. You all right out there? There's a female Harris walk in there, called Rose, and that's where the New Zealand falcon lives. And um, the door's open because he's out and about somewhere. No idea where. Let's give a whistle, see if he's around. Oh, there he is. Hello. <laughs> that time you came in. Let's go and get us some grub. And I think I'll uh, head home. Not much I can do here. So a virtual tour of my centre anyway. Yeah, hello. 